welcome 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 to another all of my productions family um we're gonna get into some things right here you know i heard one of my fellow youtubers talking about money and it's a lot of stuff you know I'll take my time and i hope y'all enjoy this video um we live in a society that uh unfortunately you got to have some capital to somewhat have a good life you know we uh black folks a vast majority of us we should not be going through these these things we can uh solve family i mean when you look at the the paradigm and the atmosphere of it all we are doing it to ourselves now i don't know how many documentaries got to be created and how many philosophers and guys of well-renowned knowledge and research and women and men that is in a melanated community got to keep on doing a refresher course on this topic and subject about keeping our money within our own community see you got to understand that if we don't spend with each other, if we don't consolidate the capital in the economic sector, far as black people's concerned, far as mom and pop's businesses within the inner communities, we never going to be competitive with other non-melanated people. You know, you can cuss, you can scream, you can holler, you can BS and moan, but... That is the reality of it all. There's too much jealousy in the melanated community. We feel as though so and so and so is getting a, getting ahead of us, and we gotta knock that person down because we feel as though they does they don't deserve materiality. They don't deserve a wife. They don't deserve a husband. They don't deserve to have kids that's dressed up and they can pay for their kids dental and health insurance and they take care of their kids see the see the devil the unholy one he want us to be dispersed he want us to have a dysfunctional family he want people going after one another you know you know daughters against mothers you know sons against fathers you know and this is why we have this uh this dysfunctionality within the families of black folks you know you know i've been on this 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 beautiful realist you know i'm right out you know <clears throat> excuse me i'm in a this breeze is blowing it's beautiful out here family oh that feels good see that's see i take pride in this you know thank god for waking up another day you know i get to see another day and that's how y'all should feel if you wake up and you get to see another day, that's the day you can do better, family. You know? Some of our self-inflicted problems is because we, we, I keep telling you, you got to fight this demon on social media and in your own reality. Demons, you know? That's what you got to contend with, family. I mean, <clears throat> you don't have to contend with it. Let's, let's put it like that. If you do the right things and put the spiritual armor on, as brothers and sisters <coughs> you know it's not hard fam we make these we make these things hard the protesting unfortunately if it didn't solve nothing in the civil rights it, it, it solved a little bit in the civil rights era but it haven't you know it haven't really solved everything you know every time and I hate to say it but it's true, and it, and that is the reality of it. I, you know, it's a bunch. It's a bunch of YouTubers that talked on this subject of the value of a black man's life. A black, the only way a black man has value, on you know, value on his life. The only thing when the only time a black man has credible credible value is when a white cop kills or a non-melanated person 
kills a black man and it's uploaded on social media and people catch him in the act. That's the only thing, that's the only way a black man li lives or value. But Ray Ray, Ray Ray, Pookie, just like my, just like some of my fellow favorite YouTubers, Skillet, Hambone, when, you know, they, they, you know, they can kill each other all day. And nothing's going to be projected. Oh, it's just another drug-related crime. They're not even going to talk about it. Well, that's the way it is, you know. Another drug-related crime, so, so, and so. But when we jump on the scene, Black Lives Matter, you know, NAACP, whatever, the Black, the, the black Caucus and all these suits and ties and boots, suited and booted men, some of them probably in the boule, you know. The only reason why they jump on the scene because they want to, you know, damper it down. That's the only time. But we can kill each other in the hood all damn day. And it won't be no major outcry with Black Lives Matter or these other. Because some of these institutions, you may think they're helping, but they're making it worse, you know. That's what we should we should be protesting and protesting why we don't have enough a sanitative in our black community. Why why are the trades and vocational schools been taken out? Everyone can't be a, a a pen and a pencil pusher or sitting at a desk at a at a computer. Everyone can't do that. So long so long is you know, it's human beings, houses need to be built, complexes need to be built. You know, malls need to be built. Construction, the construction trades, electrician, plumbing, everything got to do with the uh, construction trade, roofing, boiler makers, sprinkler makers, and all that stuff. They got to do with the trades. We need more engineers. We need more men and women in the trades, family. Because long, long as it's human beings on the earth, you know what I'm saying? It, <laughs> people got to live somewhere. You know, it should be. Homeless people on every corner you turn in these major cities, it need to be shelters. Shelters need to be built. See, that's what I'm saying, man. See, once you live in a heavily populated, melanated community and, and, and it's crime written, but you always notice you got you got a hundred churches on one block, then you got liquor stores next to, next to churches, and you got the uh, dialysis clinics now popping up everywhere like like crack houses. I mean, you can't win for losing or losing for winning. They telling you you killing yourself. I mean, at least they telling you that. Are they giving us the benefit of the doubt? Okay, is a, you know, put a dialysis clinic in that area. Put about four or five liquor stores in that area. Look, I said in my, I almost fell to the floor, almost family, not to the floor. I was in the car with my folks, almost jumped out the car and fell on the goddamn pavement when I seen this. I looked at my nephew, I said, do you believe this shit, man? They have a dialysis clinic right next to a liquor store. Not a, not split apart, they was, you know, they was all, you know how them little strip malls, them small, all the stores are, are, are connected together. The goddamn dialysis clinic, all you had to do was go out, go out one door and go on the other door. So psychologically, they're telling you eventually that liquor store you're going into, you going if you, if you go hard in the paint, your black ass gonna end up in this dialysis clinic. You know, either you're gonna be on the tank, or you gonna have to get or, or you know, <laughs> it's not funny, family. That is, it, it, I say it's very obvious what they subliminally trying to say to you, but this is how. This thing works, family. But we have to support ourselves, family. We, you know, too much, too much bitching and crying and moaning about other races. But we have to clean our house out. You know what I'm saying? And show ourselves approved. We got to police our own communities because it seems like. The damn police don't give a damn. They they shooting our women down, shooting pregnant women with children. They still talking about this case happened last year. The dudes walking free. They just having free will on us. You know that's why we don't have time for this buck dancing and foolishness 
of, of supporting these rappers that want to be sissy boys. You know, they're not being true men. They, it's an all out on it's an all out attack on alpha males like me and others. You know, they don't want no alpha male in the home. They don't want no stand up guy. They want to they want to they want a passive, not not aggressive guy. They want a soft, you know, yes men. There's a lot of those people around. You know, it, it's it's getting to a point, family. You got the it's a battle. It's spiritual warfare, and that's what it leads up to. And, you know, you got the women trying to play our role. Well, as you know, you got I seen a. a couple videos you know a while back women knuckling up knocking men out when I see women knock men the hell out I mean just like a nigga would hit another nigga and knock him out when I see women knocking dudes out it's a bad day fam it's a bad day women punking men now, now I don't know. I tell you, that's that all out attack family, you know. I know before y'all ask any questions, it's a method to my madness family. I want y'all to figure out the puzzle to my videos. I want y'all to do y'all research. I want y'all to show yourself approved and study. We live on this real estate family. You know, as black folks, and the racism was created by people you don't see. It's a machine to keep racist de popper. You know, in order for the elites to to stay in power, they wanna they want to uh, decrease the population of mankind. Now, if you do your research, they have something. They have a a a, a monument, if you will, made out of uh, made out of quarry rock, limestone, something like that. You know, they mined it out of Georgia at a rock quarry, and some kind of musician or mystic went down there. Everything was fraudulent. He left without a trace. Then, they, then they, the man gave him a phony name, phony name, and everything. He was a warlock. Let's, let's call it what it was. He was a he was a warlock so he went down to georgia picked out the place had endless money they was laughing at him daughter daughter was a joke but he wasn't a joke he went to the you know went through the proper channels got got the monument constructed and it's called the georgia guy stones reason why i brought that up is simply because the depopulation don't it seem like that george some of those uh commandments of that georgia guy stone is coming to fruition Look how many people has been dying due to racism, racism and, and um, prejudice ways when it comes against each race. You got black on black crime, then you got white on black crime, then you got black on white crime, then you got, you know, same race and opposite race due to prejudice ways, due to bigots racism and all you know all the terms and conditions due to just hateful actions towards one another one another excuse me in order to control a population you must keep it at a certain number because the population awakens and, and and your and your narrative and ideology as being elite once the population you know, oversees its, its, its limitations, meaning that it surpass the number that you wanted to, to stay under. You know, power is in numbers. And once you get a large population that's not playing games and know what the leaders up to, they will overthrow. This is why it's so important for GM, GMO foods to be ate up and drunk up. That's why it's so important to keep the guns and, and the drugs rolling in the dark and melanated communities within America. That's why it's so important to keep this disturbance we have in the Negro sector of gender wars and all that. You know, because the devil relish in that. He loves confusion. He's the father of lies. And a lot of us are falling right into his traps. You know, that is important 
for the so-called the ones you don't see the men in black that is important for them to keep certain things in place while we you know they, they look they look at us and say we got them at bay they don't know they don't know what we doing so they keep us all in the fog they're going about their daily activities controlling the world at least they think they control the world but the most high gonna put an end to it you know we're gonna put an end to that you know it is what it is family they sadly mistaken unfortunately They're sadly mistaken, family. <clears throat> they ain't putting it, you know, they ain't winning, they losing. But the only thing I can do is tell you, you know. Everybody on here hustling and shuffling and buffling and cuffling, you know. Everybody trying to get rich on this platform. You got the so-called special agents, super agents, call itself exposing everybody. You got frauds exposing other frauds. You can get caught up so much in this stuff, you'll go Looney Tune. You know, I've been telling you video after video. Sometimes you might have to take a if if you know you ain't getting no, especially if you gotta if you're not lonely. You know, there's a lot of people who get on here because they're lonely. They don't have no sexual life. They don't have no one that they 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 uh have you know having uh relationships with. And the only the only thing that can you know get some kind of stimulation of of mentality and mental enjoyment is the internet either if they positive or negative that's why you got a lot of trolls some of these trolls are stressed out and they take to the internet to vent out you know you got a lot of people like that and then you have people that is addicted to this thing they even losing they the ones they 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 are with whether it be significant other or or baby mama baby father or just you know boyfriend and girlfriend and someone else is getting the getting the pussy cat and someone else is getting the the doggy nuts you know what i'm saying because y'all are living in a virtual dream y'all living in a, a make-believe virtual world instead of living in the see you got to balance this thing out folks you got the internet and then you have reality you know don't don't lose your grip on reality because reality is everything you know they can shut this damn thing down within a day they can shut all the servers down they can shut all the servers all 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 the they can microwave it down all the towers all the cell phone towers all that shit to shoot from that shoot from here up into space they can shut all that down in a day they can cut the they can shut the grid down they got the power you know, because they made it. They made this thing we call the internet. So it's only right. The ones who made it, they can deactivate it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the way I look at it. Now, the thing is this. I'm giving y'all some occultic knowledge. The best way I can. I hope y'all processing it. We make this thing hard. Y'all better put some money spells out so you can get money. You better, you better get you, get you some money. Make you, I mean, get you some money spells, you know. Put some spells on your currency so you can gain more currency. Learn about banking. Learn about economics. Learn how to pay yourself first. Start spending. If you got the proper necessities of life, you shouldn't have to keep overspending. How much do you need? See, this is why we get in debt. All that just rolling the dice, you know, all that just, all that lucky lucky, stop that shit. Stop it. Too much rolling the dice. All you have to do, you have a job. You don't like it, work for, work, work. Concentrate, meditate, study when you can so you can get a better job. You know what you want to do. You got to make that first step, family. You understand? You want a better relationship? You got to be making preparations to get out of that relationship if you know it's not working. 
we as black folks put ourselves too much behind the eight ball and when you put yourself when you dig yourself a hole deep it's going if you the deeper you dig it it's going to be hard for you to come up out of that hole the deeper you dig down it's going to be harder to come up okay my thing is this don't do that to yourself listen to this commentary and get something out of it you know i, I keep telling y'all Y'all make this shit hot on yourselves. You shouldn't have to do that. It's not hard. The, everything is out here every, for you to put in your mind. Put it in your mind. It starts within your mind. And when you feel like you're not going nowhere, that means you've been demonically attacked. See, once the devil got your mind, see, it's a deep hit. Once he enslaved your mind, once you were possessed with demons, and that's... Don't you know why you, you ask me what are you talking about? Well, I'm gonna tell you the reason why people, some people are in the state they in, you know, far as suffering because they demon possess. That's why they demon possess. It's a curse. It made it, it made it came from, it made it came from, um, um, murder. Murderers in the family, killers, um, child molesters, liars, extortionists, everything they got to do, every device they got to do with evil. And once your biological tree indulge in this activity, it's, it's, place, it's, it's uh, curses placed on your family. If you got evil people within your family tree, it's curses place on your biological tree you understand fire as your families and you out here committing all kinds of evils and atrocities it might not it might not come back and afflict you but it will afflict your family through your lineage okay true true bill true pill so uh you play games if you want you will reap i guarantee that and this is why you see uh, and this is why you see certain people suffering out here because nine times out of ten is due to sinful. See, it's it's rules to this game. Just like the drug game, just like any other game, but the most highest game is not a game. It's rules. And when you overstep his bounds, and when you overstep the creator's bounds, the creator's bounds and, 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 and laws and statutes and commandments, when you don't when you disobey, when you disobedient, he gave you everything. He gave us the prophets, he gave us his son that was an angel in the flesh. He gave us everything we need to know. And once you go against that, and if you don't want to follow that, here comes the here comes the demonic demons. Here comes the torture. Here comes the curses that is that is inflicted on your family. So I'm telling you, family, uh, you can play this game if you want. This is why you see people on these platforms, on social media, act out the way they do. You know, some of these people, unfortunately, they are, they, they are cursed. Some of these content creators are cursed. You can tell by their commentary. You know, and they want other people to follow. Information is power. Always remember that. But but certain but certain information is demonic information. But but if you don't if you're not in touch with the Holy Spirit and discernment, if you ain't in touch with the Most High, you, you won't know. You can be following a person that is demonic due to their commentary, and you just as guilty as them. And that's sin by you even by by you even entertaining that and watching that that audio and that visual visual you are participating in a demonic activity you know it's like pornography you watch pornography as soon as you as soon as you watch it you're done you're participating in it whether you whether you just look at it or you do the other you know and usually a lot of people do the other if they don't got no one to stimulate them, so they stimulate themselves. They become lovers of themselves, you know? You know, men masturbate, women masturbate too. Off of somebody that's over a device called a smart TV or smartphone or, you know, that produces cinema. 
but you watching that rated X cinema and you stimulating yourself and you're masturbating, getting your, getting your frolics off, but that's a sin. And your body, when, once you do that, people say, no, it's not. It's not fine because once you do that, you're taken away from the natural selection of things. Man and woman is meant to get in the bed in between the sheets and get it in. No, your hand is not your friend, my brother and woman. That's when you weep. When you got to do that, I mean, everyone, you know, majority of people have done it, you know, to be curious. But when it becomes a, a, a addiction, that's when you, that's when the devil really got you. And then sometimes it moves to other things. Brothers usually turn and they get tired. Then they get out here because they don't know how to speak up on nothing. Then they get out here and become sexual deviants and raping little girls and all that. You know, due to that activity. The hand in the vast lane becomes non-avoid. Now they want the real thing, but they go about it the wrong way. This is why these things like that activity of pornography is not good. My thing is that, and my thing is this, you ain't getting it. That's stupid. You ain't, So you're going to plunk down your money or you're going to download stuff or you're going to look at this stuff and you ain't getting a damn, you ain't getting nothing up by of it. Nothing about it. A lot of men don't like to talk about it. A lot of women don't like to talk about it. But there's a lot of men and women that are addicted to that. And that's another thing that breaks up relationships. Because it takes the normalcy out of it. You are becoming a, 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 a vessel. You are becoming a person that loves an image of other folks through visual and audio that is your god that is your religion so you're hurting yourself by doing that it's like bad commentary that's like anything else that's demonic through social media you get caught up you just as guilty as the person that's you know that you looking at you know and listening to you just you 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 are entertaining the sin. It's like it's like a a drug addict and a drug dealer. Drug dealers think they above the drug addict. I mean, drug dealers. Excuse me. Drug dealers think they above or they think they got to step up up on a ladder when it comes to a drug addict. No, you don't. You just as guilty as a drug addict. Cause cause listen here. If it wasn't for the drug addict, you wouldn't be making money. That, that, I mean, if it wasn't for, that's your paycheck, the drug addict. The, the more non-drug addicts, no money you get. If it wasn't no drug addicts, it wouldn't be no drug dealer. Someone got to take the shit. So how can you put yourself above the user? You know? And the abuser. Because that's what you is too. You are the user too. Because you're using somebody. And you're abusing them. By, their, by you selling them drugs. And they're using it. And they're abusing themselves. So it's the same. It's two and the same. So. When you look at this. This, this, this problem family. See. I bang these videos out because I want y'all to think another way. And it's a better world out here. But y'all got y'all got to figure it out for yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to figure it out. You don't have to be engaged in this demonic activity. You surprised what you see on social media. All these incidents, people getting killed, all these, all these court cases going on, like Bill Cosby. Uh uh this stuff that went on with Tiger Woods. You got this stupid coon, what's his name? Jason. Uh, white, white hawk and all that. He he's still cooning out. The coons is loose. See, all these things are happening for a reason, you know. But until we as black folks wake up and accept the fact that we are the children of the sun, this is all facts. This is etched in stone. We the first builders in stone, and we come from a rich civilization. Until we, as black folks, 
engaged in the activities that we know we supposed to be engaged in and other than this other bull crap because that's what it is that's keeping us at bay until we engage in the right stuff family instead of that other bull crap we engage in that you know what i'm saying we got to we, we got to get it we got it we got to wake up you know one day i must agree we are not african americans and we are not africans And y'all know the rest. I don't need to tell y'all that. We are not Africans. And we are not African Americans. Okay? Figure it out. That's the only reason why we here. It's, through, it's due to the slave trade. You wonder why the Africans treat us a certain way? Because they know what their forefathers have, you know, done to us. They sold us, man. They didn't, the, the, the Anglo didn't just go over there and just, just, just nah, 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 nah. It was some, it was some dealings going on. See, a lot of people don't like to talk about that. They just didn't go over there and snatch us about it after, no. It was some dealings going on. But I don't need to keep on breaking it down to you. Y'all should know that yourselves, but y'all got to do some research. You know? We are not Africans, man. We are not African Americans. I see go right back to the Holy Land. And I hate to say it, some of those people over there claiming that, they're imposters. They are not the original people of that soil. So, once you figure that out, this is why we've been catching hell since we hit the shores of this country to a certain extent. Some of us got a piece of the pie, but the majority of us don't. That's why you have to do the re do your research and and answer your own question. Cause I know y'all like, why does this keep happening to us? Why do these things keep happening to, to us? Well, it's the origin why these things keep happening to us as black folks family. And once you study the origin, you'll know how to maneuver within this American system. Not as an Afri African American, not as an African. I'm gonna let you figure that out yourself. You must do your research. These are why these things keep perpetuating on us, you know? And these things keep happening. With that, I love y'all. Another one from the Arsenal, All of My Productions. Get up with y'all in a minute.